Get your home holiday ready with some great tips on how to update your dining room chairs using the incredible all-in-one paint. And we're going to be using a beautiful color called Coliseum. It's just a, a light shade of an off-white and it has a gray undertone to it. We're going to paint these chairs and give them a modern look. And I'm going to show you an easy technique. And if you notice, we're starting with a chair upside down, and that is definitely for a reason, because when we, this, this chair is ever turned over or looked at from the underside, we want it to look as good underneath as it does on top. And we're gonna do what's called brush and roll. We're using our Syntec brush. Just start painting on your coat and get it going. And that's the only thing you needed to do. We've already prepped this by cleaning it using our Glosser product. If you're new to our brand, check us out at uh, htpaint.com and you can go there and see all of the great products. This is just helping you move the paint around and evenly disperse the paint that you've laid, laid down with your brush. So you could do it with just the roller, but the roller, uh, people tend to get a little bit stingy with the paint. So putting on the brush lets you get back in all the crevices and all the grooves so much easier than trying to deal with a roller. And load the roller, just load up your brush, get on a nice full coat, and then lightly move it around with a roller, and it makes it so much easier to do. And in areas where we are here, I'm going to suggest that you use the true applicator and that's also going to let you get in here and having the set we have a tool trio that you odd experience in painting you may find sometimes that primers um, definitely when you're painting something that's old like an antique something that has some red or bleed possibly it's a good time to think about using a primer and that primer is going to stop the red or the pink from coming back through from the old red definitely a time to consider using a bend primer which contains shellac and that's going to stop that red from coming through your paint now with uh, that's any paint not this paint any paint that you're using a white over an old red piece or an antique now, if you're trying to stop the dark color from coming through, it's kind of up to you. You can put on an additional coat of this product, or you can do a white primer to stop the color from coming through, or you can use our gray primer. It's all the same work. It's kind of a personal preference. It's not doing anything else. This paint contains its own bonding primer already, so it's not, it's not helping the paint to stay on. The only thing it's doing is masking the old color from shining through. So. It's kind of up to you. Do you want to put on another product or you just want to paint an extra coat of this because you're using white? This is a drop cloth. This is a heavy drop cloth that painters use. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it in in four places. You'll notice there's some notches here, some notches here, and where, where I normally see things turn bad for people doing upholstery work are these front corners. So I'm going to show you how you work, how you get that going. First thing you want to do is just pull up here and put in the first staple using this little hand staple gun. Come right in here. There's wood right on the front. That sound always scares me. And then work right across the street from it. So right diagonally across, you're going to pull up right over here on this same corner across the way so these are opposing corners from each other you're going to put in four of these around the all the way around the perimeter of this chair <laughs> so the next corner i'm going to oppose that one and pull against it pull right up here <clears throat> and put this one in now what you're going to do is you're going to do what I call ease around these corners, but let's not talk about it yet. Now we're going to do the same. We're going to come across here and we're going to work left to right here. Just going to continue to place it in opposing positions all the way around the chair. So work across there. Same thing on the front. Come up, pull, pull taut, and then work across from that. <laughs> <clears throat> so now that you have it in, you have it all in place, 
You can turn it over and make sure you like what you got going on. All right, so now we gotta finish it off. So the front's the most important part. So what you wanna do, I had a staple pull out. Yeah. You gotta get into the wood of the chair. Get into the foam, obviously. Okay, so what you wanna do is you see already you've got this nailed in and this nailed in. So what you wanna do is you wanna find the center between the two here. Because the front's what we want to look great, right? And keep separating, finding the middle. Can you follow what I'm saying? I've got a staple here and a staple here. I want to work these two because these are already set in stone. Come I want to so ease it in all the way around there. Just keep splitting the difference. Follow me. That's a wrinkle that was in the material. So I've got this one in and this one in. I'm just gonna come in the middle of those two staples, mm -hmm. put it in, in the middle of the next two, and in the middle here. And just keep easing, easing, easing. Does that make sense to mm -hmm. you? All right, so now here to here. I've got a staple in here and a staple here. So I'm gonna find my corner here better. So now let's ease in the middle and ease the whole thing all the way down. And she's pulling really hard on this fabric too to keep it nice. Probably run out of staples. I hope you have some more. <laughs> I do have some more. It's a good thing. <laughs> You're putting it's it to thing. it. You have to put a lot. You have yeah. to put them touching each other. You want it to hold. And then keep on going. Just keep going. So. so far so there you go and that's the part you're trying to do is ease these corners mm -hmm. so see that one how that's pretty great. chair turned into a simpler more modern and neat clean looking chair than it is or than it used to be so giving it a new <laughs> life using the all one paint products and we hope that you check us out online at htpaint.com and again if you'd like to get yourself a sample of this amazing paint product just comment right here below and we would love to send you one we'll send you the link to join our great facebook group and also to get yourself a free sample just by paying 6.99 shipping and we thank you so much for being here with us tonight